Can you name me a federation where the government or the party or the politician is not part of the federation? For a federation that was suspended only one month back by the FIFA for third party involvement, this was not the most auspicious of starts as the All India Football Federation elected their first new president in over 13 years. Former goalkeeper and current BJP leader from Kolkata, Kalyan Chaube, is the new president of the All India Football Federation. And while he does tick that box of being a former player, his 33-1 landslide victory over Bhai Chung Bhutia courted more controversy than celebration. And I think it's a dark day for Indian football because it can only go downhill. Uh, it can't improve from here. I know for a fact that Kiran Rijiju came into the hotel last night at about 10 and stayed till midnight. Uh, exhorting the voters to vote against Bai Chung and uh, I think it's a shame. I think it's a shame. It's, it's interference. It's against uh, FIFA principles and uh, you know it's, it reflects poorly on the government that you know they they defeated an Indian icon. I mean they, they used so much effort to defeat an Indian icon. Now with every second uh, sports federation in India being led by an affiliate of a political party or a politician, uh, why should Chaube's pretty open admission of, elect uh, of political involvement in his election be of concern? Well, for one, FIFA's membership clause states very clearly that every affiliate national federation should manage their affairs independently and ensure that their own affairs are not influenced by any third parties. Now, while the third party that got the AIFF suspended on the 15th of August this year was the court appointed committee of administrators that word by definition also includes any political influence. Now Bhai Chung Bhutia, unarguably one of Indian football's greatest legends, Bhai Chung himself had also alleged uh, political influence was involved when his own state association, the Sikkim Football Association, did not forward his name for the president's post before the election and after the election as well. Uh, this is what he uh, had to say about the influence of political leaders in the AISF election. I quote, out of the 34 members of the Electoral College, 33 were taken to a floor of the hotel and access was denied to the whole floor. I could not contact any of the voters, the network was down. I tried calling the secretary of Rajasthan Association, who is a voter and whose president Manvendra Singh was my seconder, but I could not reach him on the phone. And well, the next day at the AIFF house in Dwarka, Bhai Chung Bhutia got just the one vote for the post of the new president. But is that what he truly deserved? Bhai Chung, of course, had spent more years in the system, had more administrative experience in football, is a name that commands respect and more importantly had targets that spoke of knowing what Indian football needed. More finances for the state units, a separate league in each and every state. Kalyan Chaube, on the other hand, after his election, said he would share the targets for his tenure in a few days' time and ask for another 100 days to chart a proper plan for his time as the AIFF president. However, he did mention one big agenda of his in the run-up to the elections as well, uh, that of each and every state unit getting an office of their own. But well, that seemed enough for 33 of the voting states to vote in favour of the BJP leader as Kalyan Chaube won by a 33-1 margin. Uh, and, and in fact, it included the vote of Rajasthan that had in fact seconded Bhai Chung's candidature in the beginning. So while Kalyan Chaube's uh, election as the new AIFF president might herald the beginning of something new, uh, especially with him being the first AIFF president in over a decade, the big question to ask is it is if it's really so in the bigger picture. And well, if you would like us to continue asking the questions that not many seem to be asking, do become a Q insider and support our work.